In this video I'll step through how to uh, download and install iGEMS and this is for people that are using one of the iGEMS subscription plans, either the 2D or 3D subscription plan. So once you've uh, ordered iGEMS you'll uh, get an email like this from iGEMS or from us saying that your uh, basically your account is available and what you'll want to do is click on this link here to set your password so you can log on to the account.igems site. So when you get this email you can go ahead and click on this link here and brings you to this page so then just set whatever of course you want for your password. So don't click down here on create account your main your company's account has already been made so you don't need to do that we're just doing up here on the password and as long as the password meets the requirements you should be logged on to your company's iGEMS account now initially when you first get in here you'll be the might be the only user or if you've recently been added you'll see your name uh, so this is the one that I just made if you need to add additional members to your team you can click down here to add and you can put in their information their email address and then they'll get a similar email with a link to set their password and then up here you have a listing of how many licenses you have available how many are being used how many are available and then you can click on here for details as far as expiration dates and such. And over in the left, you can go back to home to come back to here. Down here, you can download the most recent version of iGEMS. So I'll go ahead and click on that to download that. Okay, now that we've got downloaded, we'll go to our downloads folder. And you can just double click on the zipped folder here. You don't have to extract this. And then you can double click on the setup.exe file. And it might take a moment. Eventually, this will pop up. I'll click on more info and then run anyway. And presume you don't have to type in any sort of network password, administrator password. It'll walk you through a normal Windows installation. And then once you click on finish, it'll start iGEMS. and then you want to activate and we're going to activate as subscription license since we're connected to the internet here it shows us that we are connected to the internet and we can activate it now if your iGEMS computer cannot be connected to the internet due to security reasons or whatever other reason you don't want to be connected to the internet there is the offline activation process and there's a video on the iGEMS YouTube page that uh, walks you through that. So if you go to YouTube, iGEMS Waterjet page, uh, search for activation on their page. Uh, and then this one here, activating a subscription license. So first part of it walks through the online activation that uh, I'm going through here, but uh, about two minutes 50 or so seconds into this uh, video they talk about the offline activation process so you can check that out if, uh, if you need to do that but since we're online we'll just go ahead and click on activate type in your login credentials that we entered earlier And you probably want to keep this floating license box checked. That 
that way if you close iGEMS on this computer you can open it up on another computer and access the license. And then you'll have a listing of the different licenses that are available. Most of the time you'll only have one. In this case we have several. I just click on one of these select buttons here and I'll show it's activated, a 3D license, floating license, how much time is left and then we can close and if we just want to test to make sure it's working we can restart iGEMS okay and when you first install it it's going to be in uh, millimeters you can click down here if you are working in inches change that if you go up to the iGEMS menu and then preferences preferences there are some other things you can change when you first install this unit, unit list drawings contains is going to be set to same as units uh, especially if you are working in inch mode I always like to just change this to imperial if you do work with both imperial and metric files you can set it to ask and it will prompt you when you open up a DXF or DWG file whether it's in inches or millimeters And then you've got other preferences here as far as what you want to use for default snaps, uh, display if you don't want that grid in the background you can uncheck this, click OK. And then I usually like to do a DXF or DWG import. Uh, there may be another file that needs to be installed, um, C++ thing potentially. If you don't have it when you try to open up a uh, DXF file it'll uh, come up with a little prompt, a little link that you can click on to, to download it. So we'll go ahead, we'll do open, and I'll just go grab a DXF file. So that came in without any issues, so we're good to go with that. And once we've got that, next thing to take a look at is the shared folder. So shared folder has all of your materials, machine settings, post-processors, everything that's particular to your machine. When you first install iGEMS they put in a uh, generic shared folder which will have machines like this. Uh, if you try to make a CNC file from these you won't get anything that you'll be able to run on our uh, machine. So you need to download a uh, shared folder and copy it over so you get all of our uh, post-processor and all that good stuff. So if you don't already have a shared folder you can download one from a wiki page that you have or we can email you one. You can email support at wordjet.com and we'll get you one but in this case here I'm going to go download one. So I'll go back to my web browser And if you go to kulu.wordjet.com and up in this search box up here, if you just type in letter I, there should be an iGEMS page, you can click on that. And then we got shared folder. So you can go to, for example, shared folder for 2D or Apex 60 move or iKulu controllers. And that's this one here. So you can click on this link to download this. Sometimes you may not be able to get to that page. If you can't, again, just email us and we can email you this folder. We'll download this. Alright, so let's go to that folder. Now I usually like to delete the uh, generic shared folder. That's there in iGEMS before extracting this one. Easiest way to get to the shared folder location back in iGEMS is if you go CAD menu, system, shared folder. It'll take you to this location if you go into machines. These are those gener generic machines that we saw earlier. So if you click up to the 23 level you can just delete this entire folder and then to make the extraction easier if you can click on to here you can just do control C to copy that path 
and then you can go back to your downloads and you can extract this now, since I've already copied that path I can just click into here do my control V to paste that in otherwise you have to click on browse to navigate to that location and one note is that the uh, program data folder is often a hidden folder so if you go to C and you try to get to program data and you don't see it then that means uh, you have to turn on the other uh, checkbox to show hidden folders which to do that we'll just cancel out of here in case you need to if you go to view if you check hidden folders or excuse me check hidden items then when you go to your C drive then you'll see program data and iGEMS software iGEMS 23 and this is where we're extracting this to but let's go back to here extract Okay, so there's our shared folder we just extracted. You can just rename this to just be shared. And you'll know it's our shared folder because if you go in there and you go into machines, you'll see things like this. So now if we go back into iGEMS on the CAM tab, you can click on this select button here, and then you'll see those machines that were in that shared folder. And if you quickly just want to test something, you can choose a material and thickness. And you can hit the quick button. And we'll see that we're very easily able to make a uh, preview of a CNC file. So that looks to be working correctly. And finally, if you are going to be using iGEMS on multiple computers, you may want to put that shared folder onto a network drive location and then all of your different installations of iGEMS you can point to the same shared folder on the network that way if uh, material gets changed or added any sort of changes like that everybody will get those changes if you do want to change the location of where you're looking at for your shared folder you can go back to that iGEMS menu preferences preferences and on the general tab so this is where we're currently looking for that shared folder so you can copy that to a network location and then navigate to there to point to that so for example if I click on here it'll bring me to my current shared folder location so for example here we've got a uh, shared folder on our network drive um, so you can just basically just take this whole thing copy it to where you want it on your network and then point to that location so here we've done that we put that under this drive here under iGEMS we have this shared folder here that we typically point to so if I once you've copied that to a network location you can click on this little three button thing here and then we can go to in this case the Q drive sales iGEMS shared and so now it'll be looking at this location so it's a good thing to do again if you have multiple installations of iGEMS multiple people using iGEMS and you want them to all get any changes that are made to machines or materials anything like that um, do that and change that location there so at this point we should be good to go if you have any questions let me know thanks